This deepening crisis expands beyond the Middle East and its impacts reaching New Mexicans. As we come on the air, Israeli defense forces continue to strike hundreds of targets in the Gaza Strip. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle joins us live now as local groups are coming together in Albuquerque. Hey, Ron and Darlene, both Jewish members and American Palestinians who are, are still trying to process what is going on. Many of them saying they just want peace. We as Jews and as Israelis, you know, we don't, um, we don't want anyone to die. We want there to be peace. And, uh, and yet the opposite has happened. This isn't our religious war. This isn't Muslims versus Jews. This isn't, this, this has nothing to do with that. A complex situation unfolding in the Middle East. The terror group Hamas launching an attack on Israel over the weekend. Israel declaring war in return, the death toll surpassing 1,700. And now people here in Albuquerque are feeling the effects of the war. A very uh, close friend of my wife unfortunately lost his life very early on into the attack. The initial reactions were, I need to call my family. I have a bunch of uncles and aunts in Palestine. Um, I have an uncle that's visiting there right now and he can't leave. Mutaz Jaber, the Southwest Coalition for Palestine, disapproves of Hamas's attack on Israel. It says what is going on could also be associated with Israel's treatment to Palestine that spans decades. We see our water and electricity being cut off all the time. This is a causation of what the Israeli government has been doing to the people of Gaza and to the Palestinian people for generations. We have to separate the Palestinian people who are generally good people from the extremist terrorists that are not only hurting the Jews and hurting, you know, um, Israelis, they're also hurting their own people as well. And Cantor Angres tells me they've increased security at their congregation as part of precaution. Meanwhile, the Southwest Coalition for Palestine will also be holding a rally Friday on UNM's campus. I'm Andres Valle for KOT Action 7 News. Israel ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, Hamas has threatened to respond to the Israeli bombing by executing civilians its fighters have captured.